Good morning. It's Friday, April 28th, 2023. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, In Faith. In our scriptures, Exodus chapter 3, where God is giving Moses some instructions. Now go and call together all the elders of Israel. Tell them, Yahweh, the God of your ancestors, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, has appeared to me. He told me, I have been watching closely, and I see how the Egyptians are treating you. I have promised to rescue you from your oppression in Egypt. I will lead you to a land flowing with milk and honey, the land where the Canaanites, Hittites, Amorites, Perizzites, Hivites, and Jebusites now live. The elders of Israel will accept your message. Then you and the elders must go to the king of Egypt and tell him, The Lord, the God of the Hebrews, has met with us. So please let us take a three-day journey into the wilderness to offer sacrifices to the Lord our God. But I know that the king of Egypt will not let you go unless a mighty hand forces him. So I will raise my hand and strike the Egyptians, performing all kinds of miracles among them. Then at last he will let you go. And I will cause the Egyptians to look favorably on you. They will give you gifts when you go, so you will not leave empty-handed. Every Israelite woman will ask for articles of silver and gold and fine clothing from her Egyptian neighbors and from the foreign women in their houses. You will dress your sons and daughters with these, stripping the Egyptians of their wealth. Starting a new chapter in life can be exciting, uncertain, and even downright scary. Truth be told, life, however short or long, is a series of new chapters. The final new chapter for all of us on earth is leaving this life's cares, pain, loved ones, and virtually everything we've accumulated. Christians, myself included, believe the final earthly new chapter is but the introductory words of the gift our God bestows upon us, the book without end, eternal life. At this point in life, I can only reasonably conclude that I have many less years ahead of me than behind me. That does afford the opportunity to do some evaluation of what life has held and how I have been held up even in my weakest moments. Looking back over one's journey is far more important than merely nostalgia. It had better be so, even the word is formidable. The word nostalgia is formed from joining two thoughts, returning home and pain. The mental image is nothing less than picking at an old wound. Standing on the verge of full retirement, the first one having come in 2012, I'm doing a lot of musing over what will occupy my days hence. The excitement phase of any new chapter, being ready to launch itself into the unknown, will fade into development of whatever God has in store, and I cannot wait to see the color and shape of a new adventure. If this new ride through God's vineyard leaves me even half as breathless as the previous 75 years, it's going to be white knuckles on the dashboard all the way. In some way, I identify strongly with Abraham. God called his name and said, Come here, Abe, I want to show you something. Life really got interesting when Abraham responded, Okay, you lead, I'll follow. But that's the meaning of faith, isn't it? For you today, you may have hit this retirement moment long before my time, or you may have a while to go. Either way, we should all realize we have the same challenge to launch every morning our feet hit the floor. He's ready to lead. Our choice is the privilege of following. Each you on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.